All right, so first off, there's gonna be 20 pieces. There's two of each size and shape. So first step is to organize them by size. Okay, there's the ones with the holes and the ones without the holes. You'll also get this little bag of hardware that has an angle bracket and screws. We'll get to that in a bit. So the first step is take your biggest one without holes and one of these. Now, the trickiest part is you have to find the, there's no middle hole, but close to the middle hole. And they're gonna insert like that, okay? You take the second big one with holes and we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, take our second big one with no holes and go like that. So you'll find the more pieces we get in there, the more wiggling and jiggling we have to do. If you look at that, you'll see that these pieces are warped. They're not super straight. Once it's assembled, everything will be nice and straight. So basically this is our first step. And you see I did it wrong because these are not not in the right place. So this one that needs to move. So this is literally, literally the trickiest step is to figure out where the center is. I have to also warn you, these are cut with a laser. And so literally it burns away the wood. So You'll notice quickly there's a little bit of a smell, almost like a campfire smell. That smell will go away in a few days. So this is what it should look like. But it will get your hands a little dirty from the smoke residue. So this is the first step. We're going to leave it face down. And now we're going to finish by adding all of the rest of the pieces without holes. And we're just going to go one on each side like this and then the next level and work our way out. So I'm going to fast forward here while I do all of these. And you'll see that it's a lot of wiggling and jiggling to get the pieces to drop in how we want. flip it over like that. Now we're going to start with the whole ones and same thing. There's two for each side. Just work our way out. Now this is where it starts to get a little more tricky because there's so many parts that we have to line up. So basically you just kind of check and see where it's lined up or not lined up and you do Wiggle, jiggles, and taps. That's, that's the process. It's not difficult per se, but it is a little tricky. You kind of have to get the hang of it. One thing I failed to mention in the beginning is there's a, a darker side and a lighter side to the wood. So you, as you're assembling it, probably want to get them all facing the same direction. That's it, that's the completed project. Now, it stays together very, very well on its own. If you wanted, you could glue it 
And basically you would get it assembled and just put bits of glue down in these corners. However, it's not going anywhere. It stays together just great. So that's up to you if you want to glue it or not. The last step is to take these brackets. You'll notice on one of the shelves, there's small holes that are pre-drilled on each side. That's where our brackets are gonna go. I'm not gonna take the time to do it. I'll just show you how they go. And the brackets have a little protective film. Just peel that film off. So the brackets are gonna go at the top and they're gonna go like this. So there's a small screw and a small nut and you just install it. You can do it before or after you assemble it. It doesn't really matter, but that's where it goes. Easy peasy. Once you're done, you're ready to hang it on the wall. So that's it. I hope that your assembly goes easy and well and that you enjoy your new display. Thank you very much for your, your, your purchase. And if you have any questions or issues, please reach out via Etsy and let us know. Thanks.